It is Friday, February 24th, and here's what I'm taking for breakfast, lunch, and snack. Breakfast is going to be my coffee, zero points, because I'm using one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points, and one tablespoon of sugar-free hazelnut creamer for zero smart points. I'm also taking another of my egg wraps with the salsa and sauteed vegetables inside. So right now, it is frozen. And my plan is to heat it in the microwave with a couple paper towels around it. Hopefully the paper towels don't stick to the tortilla. This is my plan. I have one more of these in the freezer and then the next time I make them, I'm not going to add the salsa and the vegetables. So that is my one smart point egg wrap. It has one Olay wellness wrap for one smart point, one quarter cup of all whites egg whites for zero smart points, three slices of Oscar Mayer turkey deli meat for zero smart points, and then a mixture of sauteed bell pepper, tomato, and onion, and a little bit of salsa. So one smart point for the wrap, and then I also have a pear. So breakfast is one point. Lunch over here is my good old faithful standby, the one point turkey wrap. So almost the same ingredients as breakfast, but we have the Olay, extreme wellness wrap for one smart point i have one craft fat free singles for zero smart points and also i have one of these on the egg wrap i think i forgot to mention that so one of these is zero smart points and then i have uh, five slices of the oscar meyer turkey breast for zero smart points i have relish for zero one teaspoon is zero smart points Mustard is zero, and then I have apple slices on the top. So that is my one smart point turkey wrap for lunch. I'm also having um, salad in a jar. I'm having um, at the bottom is the cucumber, bell pepper, tomato, celery, onion, cilantro mix that Eddie chopped up last night. And then on top of that is just basic greens. There is a tiny drizzle of balsamic and a tiny drizzle of sesame marinade that I'm not counting for any points. Um, those are in the vegetables at the bottom. So that's the salad I'm having with the wrap. I will be in a movie again today for lunch. So I'll probably have the wrap in the movie and then the salad later. Um, so lunch is one smart point. This is what I'm having for snack. <laughs> we are having a little wine and cheese party at work for our uh, kind of like a afternoon break this, this afternoon. So I'm not taking an actual snack, but this is what I'm contributing to our party. I have a couple uh, bottles of red wine and then I'm bringing Brie, which is my favorite. So um, I'm planning to have a couple glasses of wine and then I will probably, hopefully only have two ounces of cheese. So I'll probably have like an ounce of this and an ounce of another cheese that a coworker is bringing. One of my coworkers is also bringing sliced apples to have with the cheese, which to me is brilliant. Like why did I not think of that? Every time I think wine and cheese, I think I have to have crackers or bread, hummus, uh, fig jam, and it could be as simple as sliced apples and cheese with the wine. So I just cannot believe I didn't think of that. So that's what I'm having for snack. I will be having sliced apples, two ounces of cheese. Um, one ounce of cheese is four smart points. So I will be having eight smart points of cheese and then I will probably have uh, maybe 15 ounces of wine, which should be about 14, yeah, 13 or 14 smart points for the wine. So that's a hefty snack. What is that? 13 plus eight is 21. Wow. Okay, 21 smart points for snack. So my total so far today, one smart point for breakfast, one smart point for lunch, and 21 smart points for snack. Good morning, you guys. So it's Friday and I'm super happy about that. Who doesn't love Friday? Who doesn't love the weekends? And today is gonna be super busy for me, so I thought I would take a couple minutes and give a quick chat to you guys right now. 
Um, so yeah, today is going to be busy. Number one, it's super duper cold out, like 40 something degrees. It might be like up to 50-ish by now. Um, so I will probably still take my first walk break because I need to. I just need to do it and just not be lazy. Um, but it's not very fun to vlog outside in the cold, so I thought I would chat with you now. Um, I will do that. I'm going to commit now. Okay. I'm going to do the first walk break. Um, I will not do my second walk break because as you saw in my morning video, we are having a little wine and cheese party. So that happens to coincide at exactly the time I take my second break. So no second walk break. And then I will finish up my exercise after work with one more seven mile run on the treadmill. So um, something to say about that. First of all, um, it has been interesting and uh, challenging to increase my daily workouts to seven miles because I was running a standard four mile workout daily. So I bumped it up a little over the weeks. Um, I can tell you right now it has done nothing for my weight, nothing. But I think I've expressed to many of you um, in individual comments that although I do exercise a lot, Exercise has never helped me lose weight. Even when I trained for marathons, when I was running marathons, I did not lose weight. <laughs> so exercise alone does not help me lose weight. I love running and I love to exercise for many different reasons, but not for weight loss. And it took me a long time to realize that. I think it was my husband who actually pointed out that no matter how far I run or how long, how fast, I don't lose weight so many many other benefits and I just feel if I don't work out um, more than like if I take more than two days off I just feel bloated and gross and like a big fat sloth so I love to work out for many different reasons but it's not weight loss so um, it's been interesting increasing my uh, miles and I thought I would try it and see if it helped with the weight loss again it did not so next week I'm going to be dropping back down to four miles a day again um, it's a very comfortable distance for me because number one it, it seems to go by a lot faster obviously than seven miles um, so it seems to go pretty fast um, and then it, it just it's it's enough for me but not overkill and because I work out after work some nights I don't get home until 8 30 um, so this seven mile thing has really um, been hard on the whole time thing and and then I have dinner super late and just yeah it'll it'll be nice to go back to the four miles also next week I have three cake and cake pop orders due on the weekend so I will be um, working on those all week long so I really need to get home at a better time next week so for all of those reasons I will be dropping down to four miles next week and then I also wanted to share with you guys some super cool news um, so I have I guess I don't need those I can like talk to you talk to you so I have um, I have run probably eight I've probably run about 10 to 12 marathons and I've run um, eight to 10 half marathons. I've run many, many 5Ks and 10Ks, but I've never done a triathlon. <laughs> so I've worked at Disney for two years now. Um, yeah, it'll be two years and I've watched people. We have like a Disney tri team and it's actually several teams that do the Malibu triathlon um, but they're kind of like sponsored by Disney and you know they have Disney shirts and it's just huge there's a huge showing for number one this is a huge triathlon and number two we have so many Disney people that do it so I decided finally this year I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do the triathlon so before you get to like oh my gosh she's crazy I am only doing the running part so um, there's no there's no way I could swim in the ocean like ever I never will 
that's way too scary, way beyond my comfort zone. So I'm going to be doing the running part of the triathlon. I'm so excited. Um, and then I have another coworker who is doing the biking part and we just need to find a swimmer. So, um, we have, a, we have time to do that. So we'll find one more person. And, um, I believe the triathlon is in September. So I'm going to be training, um, for that. Obviously it's going to be speed because the, the portion of the race that I will be doing is only four miles. Um, so four miles I can totally do. And it's been the last probably six to eight months I've really really increased my speed like I'm running faster now than I did like in my 30s so I'm very excited to see um, my race time like this this will probably be the fastest I've done four miles especially because I still have some months to train so I'm very excited to just run and do well and like be not be the team member that drags everyone down because of speed for once like I've never been on a team doing any kind of running but I don't want to be that person that drags everybody's time down <laughs> so I'm excited that I don't think I will be my goal for the four miles is right now I'm running 7.5 miles an hour as you know and I'm trying to make that a good comfortable speed so um, 7.5 miles an hour is eight minute miles. So my goal is to run the four miles in eight minute miles. So that would be 32 minutes for four miles, um, which absolutely sounds so doable right now because I'm already doing that on the treadmill for three miles. Um, the challenge is that um, number one, there will be hills. Um, Malibu is very hilly, um, so I hate heels. I hate running hills. Um, so I need to train for that. And number two, I will be running outside instead of on the treadmill. And that's also completely different, completely different. So I'm going to keep training on the treadmill and trying to just make that speed more comfortable and try to bump it up a little, uh, maybe get to 7.8 miles an hour. And then once uh, the time change happens and I can run outside, I need to start training outside. So. Whew, that's my exciting news. I did not mean to ramble on so long about running. Um, what else was I going to tell you? So I have, um, we are doing a movie at it's lunch. and really awesome. Such a privilege to see most of the Oscar nominated movies. So it's been great. And today they're playing Fences. So I'm very excited to see this one as well. So I will be in a movie for lunch. Um, and then four o'clock, as you saw, is our wine and cheese party. So, um, insane. Um, Gina from Simply Gina was saying in one of her most recent videos that really if this life or if you're counting anything with regards to food, it all comes down to planning. And I absolutely 100% agree with her. I plan everything I'm going to eat. And if I don't, then that's when I go wrong and when I go off the deep end. So um, it's good to just have a plan for literally everything. I know um, that I may go over points today, um, but I have a plan for a snack, I have a plan for dinner, and then I may go over a little bit. But to me, that is controlled. That's, you know, I wanna go over my points in a controlled way. Not like I did last weekend and maybe the week, no, just last weekend really, um, where I'm just like eating to eat and just eating stuff and not counting it and not pre-planning it. Like if I'm gonna go over in my points, it's I want it to be for a specific reason and I want it to be very controlled. So um, I'm really proud that the last few days have been, I have been over 30 points, but not by much. And also, um, I'm not like just grazing and I'm not just eating, eating, eating at night. Like I kind of decided after dinner, like one of my new rules, hopefully, <laughs> is that um, after dinner, if I have a proper dinner, and to me, I have talked to my husband about how a proper satisfying dinner is a carb, a protein, and a vegetable. Um, 
that to me is satisfying and filling enough. So if I have a proper dinner and I have my couple glasses of wine, there is no reason why I should be eating anything after dinner. So that is kind of one of my new rules that I've tried to do this week is to not eat after dinner. And um, it's kind of worked. Like I've had some extra salad after dinner. That to me is not going to kill anything. Some extra zero point salad is like no big deal. So, um, but yeah, I'm just proud that I have been a little over in points, but I haven't been crazy uncontrolled snacky. Now it's only Friday and we all know that Fridays are not Fridays, but the weekend in general are my challenge times. So, um, so it begins <laughs> three days of, uh, what's Julie going to do? Um, but I actually am going to have a challenging weekend too because <laughs> so tonight, well, there's nothing challenging tonight. Today is just the wine party that's kind of throwing me off and it's going to make me go over on points. Tomorrow we have um, a birthday lunch with my sister. There will be cake involved and I don't plan on having cake, but it's also an Asian uh, bar, an a Asian buffet, which has a sushi bar. I am all about the sushi tomorrow, all about the sushi. Um, so that's tomorrow, Saturday, and then on Sunday we're going to Disneyland and I also, I, I already know that I'm having a Monte Cristo because I haven't had one for ages and love them. Anyway, getting ahead of myself because you, got, you guys will see all of that this weekend, but it's going to be a challenging weekend. I will be over on my points, however, it's going to be a very controlled going over. I don't plan to go nutso like I did last week. So hopefully um, that will uh, do some good for me on the scale. Anyway, I need to get into work because now I've talked to you for 12 minutes and people are like coming and going and people that I know looking at me. So I'm just um, pretending that I'm FaceTiming someone on the phone. I don't know. <laughs> The crazy co-worker that talks to herself in the car. Anyway, I'm going to go into work. I will probably not have a chance to touch base with you until this afternoon. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great Friday and I will talk to you later. I just remembered that I am supposed to be donating blood right now. So I am rushing over to find the building. It's a half a mile away. I was supposed to be there at 10. I haven't had breakfast. All I've had is coffee. This is shaping up to be a crazy day. Um, at least I'm getting my walk in. <laughs> Bye. Hi everyone. So it is just after seven o'clock and I am home for the evening. I came home early because I skipped my workout. I decided uh, just to give myself a break. I just literally did not feel like running seven miles tonight. So I may try and make up for that tomorrow and do a run tomorrow on Saturday, which would normally be a rest day. Um, but I just, I just didn't feel like doing it. So I'm just going to be a little easy on myself today and consider that's okay. The wine and cheese party was amazing. It was delicious. We had um, we had three amazing cheeses. We had a bourbon, like a bourbon hard cheese. We had a Syrah Toscano cheese and then also the brie that I brought. So it was just amazing and delicious. And the Trader Joe's fig and olive crackers are so good so good every time I'm in Trader Joe's and I stand in line I see those while I'm standing there and I want them so bad and now I know how amazing they are they're like super crunchy like really crunchy but they have a little bit of chewiness from the figs they are just amazing I would highly recommend them I personally will probably not get them unless it's a special occasion because I would just blow through them in no time but they are just so delicious so I ended up having um, I had a few glasses of wine as I predicted and then I had four smart points worth of the Trader Joe's fig and olive crackers which were actually very worth it and then I think I had about two and a half ounces 
of cheese total, but I'm counting three ounces for the cheese, so that's 12 smart points. So a very high break snack today, um, but I'm going to try and have a light dinner. Um, so I'll probably just have some salad with some of the Philly beef steak that we have on top of the salad. So hopefully should be a fairly light dinner and I will probably have um, one more glass of wine. So I will show you that when I get to dinner. I'm not super hungry right now. I have to make... I have to bake a cake tonight for my sister's birthday tomorrow and then I also have a very small cake pop order due tomorrow so I'm going to be making cake pops and baking cake tonight. <laughs> That's my exciting Friday evening. So I will show you guys dinner when I get upstairs and get hungry. Okay, it's after 10 p.m. and I have been baking all night, making cake pops and cake. So I am just now starting to get hungry. Here's what I'm having for dinner. Um, and actually I did have a bite of Eddie's calzone that he made when I got home from work. So I'm counting that as two smart points for the bite of his calzone. I'm also having this huge salad. I piled it very high. What I have is obviously salad greens. On top of that I have bell pepper, cucumber, onion, cilantro, and celery, and basil. A mixture of those zero point ingredients. Then I have two ounces of Philly beef steak. Two ounces is four smart points. And then I have a quarter cup of the Kraft fat-free shredded cheddar cheese for zero smart points. I have one tablespoon of fat-free sour cream for zero smart points. I have two tablespoons of Bolt House Farms chunky blue cheese yogurt dressing for one smart point. I have some seasoned pepitas for one smart point, one tablespoon for one smart point, and then I have one tablespoon of dried cranberries for one smart point. So that is, what is that, four, five, six, seven. I believe that is seven smart points for the salad. And then I'm having a glass of wine for seven smart points as well. So seven on the plate, seven in the glass, 14 smart points for a late night dinner. Okay, so the cake pops are as close to finished as they are going to get tonight. Unfortunately, I only had 12 cake pops to make for this order and I only had nine cake pop sticks. So that is very annoying. Um, I made the six royal wedding cake flavor and I need to do three more of the double fudge brownie flavor in the morning when I have more sticks. So I've done as much as I can on the cake pops and the cake is pretty much made. I will need to assemble the cake with the filling and the topping tomorrow. So that's it for me tonight. Mm -hmm.